Today, I'm going to show you a recap of the electrical system at the Country Craziness Barn, so stay tuned. Hi, this is Paul from CountryCraziness.com. If you're interested in post-frame construction, tractors, and homesteading, then why not subscribe, tap the bell, and join in on the conversation. It took us almost a year to get our electrical system fully installed and functional at Country Craziness. Today, I wanna to show you how that whole project turned out. Winter was closing in quickly when we built our barn. Even the trench for the conduit from the utility pole to the barn kept filling with water. We fought the weather daily and decided we just did not have the time to rough in a well thought out electrical plan. It was time to button up for the winter and decided the best course of action was to finish the interior, get the electrical panel installed, and a couple of outlets for our battery chargers. Our six LED ceiling fixtures sat dormant in their boxes for almost another year. We got a lot of work to do on our homestead besides hanging lights and running circuits, but we did have time on warm summer nights to discuss how we would do the electric. If you have not watched the video on three ways to wire a pole barn, I will put a link in the description. Our barn at Country Craziness is the focal point of the channel, so we decided to go all out and use three quarter inch conduit. I spent 41 years in the electrical industry and my son works in electric wholesaler. Our contractor friends and manufacturer reps helped hook us up into a dream pole barn electrical system. We also did a strategic dumpster dive for some material. We put in 14 circuits on this build, a circuit for a future bathroom, two circuits for each wall, a 240 volt outlet for a compressor, lighting circuits inside and outdoor. In addition to that, we ran two empty runs of conduit on the ceiling, just in case we want to do more in the future. We have no zoning laws and could turn this barn into a business in the future. Transforming it into an event center is one of the ideas which would include a smaller structure by the pond for the bride and groom's first night. The six Max Light LED fixtures each have six LED bars. They light the barn's white interior big time, so we use a decorative switch with a built-in 0 to 10 volt electronic slide dimmer. Three TPI commercial fans run down the center. They have 56 inch metal blades and they really move the air. Moore's classic LED wall packs light the front and back of the barn and five halo LED down lights were used under the porch. All the outdoor lights are on a single photo cell and located down low in an inconspicuous spot for easy maintenance. Once there is housing on the property, we will convert to a timer and save money. This barn's electrical system is over the top and now it's time to do more planning. A bathroom and a mezzanine are definitely future adds to this beautiful barn. If you're interested in learning more about the actual products that we used on the barn build, check out the affiliate links down below. And if you'd like to learn more about post frame construction, click on the links up above. And if you'd like to learn more about tractors, then click down below.